Challenge Select number one here and welcome back. I am very excited to get back into this series. It's been a hot minute. If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, today we are watching The Devil is a Part-Timer, episode two. I saw the first one. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I don't know what more to say. I know that this is going to be a really good series just from the first episode. Um, I very much enjoy Slice of Life am animes. And more to the point, I, I already am really, like, into the character development. Um, the last time we watched this, episode one, I believe, we saw that the hero who kicked the devil's ass, by the way, actually ended up being on the same, or in the same area that he is, because he had to come to Earth to heal. If you didn't see the last episode, go check it out. But, yeah, he had to come here to Earth to heal, so, like, now the hero's here, so what? I don't know what this shenanigan's gonna bring up. But, to get into it, so sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching Season 1, Episode 2 of Devil is a Part-Timer. Uh-huh. Right. And this is when he's zapped into the... into Earth. So, odd question. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself, but do the devil, do the devil and the hero become a thing? Like that's, I don't know. I feel like I, I can see a direction in which they're they're gonna go that way, where maybe these two end up together. Ooh, archery, okay. Oh, she's sad. Why are you sad? I saw you cast a spell. Tell me, Satan, why would the King of Darkness be working part time at a McRonald's? The hero Amelia? Yeah. yeah. Me, what are you doing here? I leapt through the gate just like you. <laughs> this moment shall be your last. Amelia, wait. I can explain. No, I don't want to hear what you have to Ooh, say. Oh, she's going to kick your ass. <gasps> she's got it. Where's your sacred sword. You know what? That's not really any of your business. I'm gonna say it's not your business. Have you by chance lost your celestial force? Or maybe you just can't afford to waste it. Well, you're in the same boat, aren't you? The magic I'm sensing from you right now is practically nothing compared to what it was in Inte Isla. Oh my gosh. Obviously, I'm on a bike. I'm on a sword bike. No sword. A devil without magic working fast food is not an adversary I need to worry about. Oh my gosh, they got arrested because they were making a public disturbance. Look, lady. I don't know what your boyfriend did, and it doesn't really matter. No knife fighting. You can't do that. What? Did you say boyfriend? Betty thinks we're dating, and I cheated or dumped you. What? I am not in a romantic relationship with this freak. That He's the devil. If you've decided you would like to end things with him, though, you need to be more mature about it. Wow. <laughs> I'm honored that tonight will be the last good night's sleep you'll ever have. Oh my gosh. Not nice. It doesn't really sound like the kind of thing a hero should say. I didn't ask for the opinion of a part-time devil. Yeah, okay, whatever. Give me back my umbrella discount store, hero. You wow. You didn't have to throw it away, remember? I took it carefully apart and put it in the trash. She sure doesn't seem all that heroic to me. Yes, sir, we can do that. Oh my gosh. I apologize, ma'am. So which calling plan sounds best? Right. Again, my name is Miss Yusa, and thank you- Oh, this is her job! You. Jeez, I've had like five million complaints today. We Can you imagine being like an all-time hero and yet you still have to work customer service? Hey, so you want to grab lunch at that curry place that just opened? Ooh, curry. Uh, don't you think it'll still be too crowded? I guess we could just go the Mickey R's route if you're worried about time. Mickey no, Ari's? That. Sorry. Gross. Another one. Here we go. Back to it. What is this place? Oh, okay. Get yourself some takeout. Had a long day. Wow. It's time for Crash That Dinner! Alright, folks. This is the next house that's about to get crashed. What the hell? <laughs> what is this TV show? 
celebrating something this evening? Does he just smash the table with the spoon? <laughs> I was gonna say, not a lot. Ew, except you're eating better food. What the hell is that? Cucumbers and, like... Ceiling tile? What the hell are you eating? I'm gonna say no. Jail person. I doubt we live in the kind of neighborhood where people feel comfortable going door-to-door -door in an attempt to sell anything legal. Amelia the hero! Uh, Amelia the hero? Yes! Now open the door! Just don't open the door. Yeah, he ran indoors. Hmm. I probably should have mentioned it to you earlier. You probably should have, yeah. Might have tried to kill me. Hurry up! The cops thought we were dating and having a lover's quarrel. Have any powers left to use against me? So she's like us, and most likely doesn't have the ability to replenish her powers in this world either. Which means the hero has no more control of the gate than we. Let her in. So really, Earth is just kind of sucking the life out of all these people. This place is a dump. It's shabby, it's tiny, and it's got paper-thin walls. Okay, now you're just being mean. The devil's <laughs> you're just being mean. Over comfort. Oh, really? This is what you call functional? Quite Ew. a royal feast you got there. Hey, Ashio's an amazing cook. This disaster? It's pathetic. I mean, even I found a better way to live than this, and I live all by myself. Your comrades aren't here? No! Then shut up! Oh. <laughs> she threw it at him. Here. One of the high priests was supposed to come, too. Our plan was to go back home as soon as we destroyed you in this world. Mm -hmm. But Nolba was... He was too slow. <sighs> Did he die? Did he die? Oh, he just missed it. Plan to live a peaceful part timer's life. You are dead wrong. Dude, I don't know how you afford this place on a part time salary. This world. <laughs> For your information, hero, McRonald sometimes lets her part timers go full time. Ooh. <laughs> Hear me, Amelia. I shall become a regular employee in this world and thus accumulate wealth and social status. I will become okay. so powerful, all manner of humans will kneel before me. Then I will invade into Isla once more. That's right. Ludicrous. Don't feel bad. I'm sure a mere human like you has no way of understanding my lofty aims. The wrong idea. If I use my remaining power, I can kill you anytime I want. <laughs> really? Then what are you waiting for? If I use it all up on you, I won't be able to go home to Inte Isla. As long as you behave, I'll let you live until I figure a way out of here. Oh, okay. So she's just gonna... My name is Emi Yusa. Try not to forget it. She's just gonna let him live until she can gain enough power, and then she's gonna, still gonna kill him. Actually, this is a tell a like. Do you have a date and you didn't tell me about it? No. Tell a service job. Why is she changing at work? Why are they doing that? There is no way. Telemarketer. Oh my gosh. Pauper, just because I can't let him out of my sight. Oh, come on, man. Why do I have to go? I cannot do this alone, sire. The task requires your powers as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's getting the wrong idea. They're probably are probably arguing over who's gonna go to the grocery store or something. Where are they headed at this time of day? We can line again. We can each buy another carton that way. No, that's against the rules. You have to come out with me tonight. Yeah. Oh, just go out with her at this. You can't be busy again. Yeah, I know I suck. You are totally putting mistress before sisters. No, I told you it's not like My that. My gosh! Sire, please don't. How can you not be curious about this demonic experiment? Demonic? More like insipid. Huh? Uh -uh. Huh? Uh -uh. She's just losing hope that they're even doing anything interesting at this oh, point. It's like you said, you gotta at least try to make a cake like melon. I mean, a little. Melon my foot. A cucumber. Maybe a I should just go home. With all this, okay, so first of all, if he's working in a McDonald's, why can they not take food, like, why can't he get food from work instead of having to have these crappy dishes at home of cucumbers and honey, or jellies and cucumbers? Like, why can't you take a burger home? 
a moment? Are you ready to order some food, miss? I need to speak with you outside. To go order, then. As soon as you get off work, meet me at the intersection where we first met. Mm -mm. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Would you like to make that a meal? Come alone or else. Okay, we could do that. Just the burger this time. Can I get one big meal? Okay, we can do that. I don't plan on fighting you either. So don't oh, chicken out. Great. Looks like you two were talking about something. Do you know her? Ma'am. Yes, you could say we have a bit of history. Ha! I knew she smelled fishy. Oh. First of all, she was sort of pretty, wasn't she? Oh she my gosh. Huh? Why does everybody want to get with the devil? <laughs> like, what why? It's all about. It's not like you're my kid. Welcome to McDonald's. I can take your order. Who's that? You're ready. Are you all right in yesterday's earthquake? Earthquake? Oh yeah, I guess there was one. For some reason, my roommate didn't feel it. Your who did what? My who did what what? You didn't tell me you had a roommate. Let's stick with How do you think he affords an apartment on his own with a part-time salary? These were on the floor. It was such a mess. What? I didn't realize it was that big. I barely felt it. The big persuasion bug you didn't chips at all. What? It's not a girlfriend. I'm broke, so I live with an old servant. I mean old friend. Oh, well that's totally fine then. Thank goodness. For what? Why doesn't she just, like, talk to him about that? Why is she being so possessive? Like... So, what do you want to talk about? Watched your behavior and attitude at work, not to mention your crap home over the last several days. So now you're stalking me? You haven't done anything evil, and you're living a simple, serious life. Your manager and your co-workers all trust you implicitly, mm -hmm. and you deal with customers confidently and kindly. You're the perfect McRonald's employee. That's not a compliment, is it? I was ready to write off what you said about trying to conquer this world for yourself. But now I'm starting to think there was some truth behind those words. Why don't you and Ashia just stay here and conquer stuff? If telling straight men to live with other straight men forever is some sort of twisted thing you've got, you need major help, lady. I think you should give up on Inta Isla. Find a new life and a new enemy here on Earth. Ha! <laughs> Not gonna happen. What? I told you, I'm going back to Inta Isla and I will subjugate it. Yeah, you need to beat his ass. I was gonna say, I don't know why you thought this wasn't gonna be a issue. Uh, he's unbelievable. What the hell? It's someone shooting at us. Who's that? Oh my gosh. I that song. I didn't say you could touch me. Are you seriously arguing with me right now? Get off her. Not bad for a girl. Give Ew. I'm the hero. I'll give you credit if you Get off of me. I guess they're not following us out this far, huh? So who is shooting at them? Now. What do you think that was about? I don't know, but Or was someone just one. shooting randomly? Those bullets were made of magical energy. Magic? So what's that mean? We're dealing with someone fairly powerful. Well, someone who's clearly either someone after him or after both of really you. Are. But who could that possibly be? A mystery sniper at the precise place a demon and a hero meet up? The logical assumption is they've got to be from Ente Isla. Could have met in the afternoon. Are you what kidding me? Like in the afternoon, genius? That's not really my problem, is it? Hey! Where are you? I gotta work early. I'm heading home to crash. What? You're going off alone? That's the plan. My landlady lives in the apartment right next door to us. I'd rather avoid running into her. Uh -huh. Apparently, she lives too far away to walk. Guess having a bike is better than you thought, huh? <laughs> I'm confused, sire. Are you saying she's spending the night with us? That's what I'm saying. Come on in, Emmy. Um, thank you for having Where is she gonna sleep? On the floor? And FYI, don't expect any luxuries or anything, like a bed to sleep on. Oh, okay, so <laughs> she is sleeping on the floor. What kind of disrespectful attitude is that in the face of King Satan's act of benevolence? Shut it, Ashia. I don't wanna say shut up. Here, Emmy, you can use this. What is that? So none of your funny business. Okay. Worst. How did I end up here? Aww. What is happening? I can't believe she has now to we sleep were on the floor. Miserable at first, too. Remember? Yes. I... Oh, they all we sleep on the floor because there were two of us. But Emmy doesn't have anyone. Is it just me, King Satan, or are you growing soft? <laughs> oh, I've got a 
text from Chi, too. Who's that? There's going to be another earthquake. What do I do? Oh my gosh. Go oh, in the bathroom and sit in the bathtub. What is going on? So apparently we have earthquakes, which mean that there's some sort of force going on here because he can feel them not as much, but like, or no, he can feel them, but his roommate can't really feel them. And clearly they're happening more and more frequently because, I mean, they just happened and then now they're happening again. So clearly there's something going on there. But also, now there's someone after both the hero and the devil. So I don't know if they think maybe they sent someone to watch them because they found out they're on the same, like, wavelength. Like, they're working, they think they're working together. Or, I mean just to i don't know is it like an assassination situation is it kind of like someone else is working for someone else and that's why he's after these two my guess is that like i said they think maybe they're working together i feel like the devil was really chill in this episode like the first episode he was so menacing and powerful and like in this one he's like yeah i i work part time and like this is it and it, i don't know he just I, I often forget that he's the devil, and that's that's kind of the funny part is, I don't know if that's on purpose, I don't know if we're supposed to forget, and then be like, oh yeah, he's a terrible person. Doing it so far, if you guys are as well, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for staying awesome, and until next time guys, bye!